Hey guys, this is Code Draco, and uh, I want to make a quick tutorial and also an update, real quick. Um, the first update is that I'm gonna be making a lot more tutorials on this channel. Um, it's pretty hard to make speed arts because like I make a lot of mistakes, and I like you know I'm still learning, so I go back and do stuff. It just doesn't look good on a speed art. So I think it'd be best if I just like show you guys how to do stuff, and I think you guys appreciate that more than seeing me like do work. I think you guys would rather learn but uh alright so the second update is that I have two different pages that I, I'd like you guys to ch uh, check out real quick um first is my backup channel cause in case anything ever happens to this channel I, uh, I'd, I'd like to have like a good amount of subscribers on another channel so my backup channel is code draco designs uh <coughs> I'm gonna put that in the ch in the description of this video and also I'd like you guys to check out my the portfolio it's basically like a place where I'm gonna whenever I make anything good I'm just gonna post it up here it might not even be good just something that I like maybe you guys won't because you know it's like my style but as you can see like I have desktop backgrounds up here uh, I just 3d text um, my back backgrounds I've made all that but uh, yeah go check that out guys thanks all right so let's start the tutorial uh, this tutorial is going to be on how to make 3D text in Photoshop. Um, I'm going to make another tutorial uh, today about how to make 3D text in Cinema 4D too, and I'll post that up later. But, alright, let's get it started. First, let's open up a new canvas. 1280 by 720 will be good. Alright, so here you have it. Now, first, let me. Sh there's really two ways to do it, or that I know of. I mean, there's more ways that I know of, but I don't really like those. So here, let me show you them. Okay, let's pick a font. Um, Alright, sui generis or something. Alright, now let's say tutorial. Actually, pop, I'll just use bank off because you just wanted to see this. Alright, now we yeah, got tutorial right here. Now, let me lower this down. Probably just stick to zero or negative 20, negative 50. All right, negative 75 is good. Dang. All right, that should be good. Now uh, let's just give it a style real quick. All right. So now we have uh, this right here, just simple text. And now let me show you how to make this 3D. So now you have this text, um, press Control J to copy the layer, and you see now I have a perfect copy. And then drag it under the original. <coughs> so now we have this, what I'd do is uh, I'd give it like, I'd give whatever you have here, i just give it also like a color overlay of black, and I'd lower the opacity a little, just to make it seem darker. Alright, that should be good. Now we got the copy. And now we got. Now you have to press Control T to go to free transform. Then press Shift and Alt. And then now uh, hold down Shift because Shift. What Shift will make it do is it'll keep it proportional, and Alt will keep the um, the the center point in place. So hold down Shift and Alt, and then drag down just a little bit. All right. Now keep doing that. Control J, drag drag this new one under the uh, other copy so every single time you make another copy you gotta drag it to the bottom and then you just keep doing this as much time as you want it looks kind of sloppy because I just want to like, get this done real quick but yeah just okay now it's uh rasterize type and merge layers okay that looks fine now as you can see I got just a regular simple 3D text right here and it's that easy really if you want to you can maybe like higher the stroke on this or something and then add like I don't know you can do really whatever you want but that's uh, one way the next way is uh if you have, if you got photoshop cs5 extended which I do these, like I don't know if you can see Adobe photoshop cs5 and I have extended here's one thing you can do uh let's get on out. Alright, I'm oh, sorry. Just for the sake of time, just T U T. Um, 
doesn't matter what color at all. But it's just for the sake of just do dark gray, so I don't have to change it later. And then let's put this to zero. All right, there we go. T U T. Now, how to make these 3D in Photoshop CS5 Extended, and this is what I used before I got Cinema 4D. And it's actually pretty useful if you know how to use it. Go to uh, up here. Oh crap. Up here, when you see all these, go to 3D. Then go to Repuse. I don't know what that means, but basically means 3D, I guess. <coughs> and uh, make sure you haven't rasterized the layer. Make sure it's like still a text layer, a T. Or, and you can also do this with like mass or uh, layer mass paths and stuff. But I guess for the sake of this, let's do text layer. Now you gotta wait a second because it is kind of slow because it's not supposed to be, you know, I don't know, it's not Cinema 4D or anything. Now, here we go. We have some 3D text already. And now, let's lower the depth a little. 0.7. And do none of these matter. The only thing you really want to change real quick is like this whatever color. It doesn't even matter what texture this is because we're going to change all this later. And then let's add uh, a bevel real quick. I think two is going to be fine. Let's maybe add three. All right. So that should be good. Now let's press. Okay, let's turn this a little. Actually, let's just keep it this way so we can see better. All right. Now let's press. Okay. So now, while we wait for this to render or load. All right. Now we have this text right here. It's 3D text. Now you're, you're probably thinking that looks terrible. The colors are bad and it's all fuzzy and stuff. Well, we can fix that. <coughs> Up here, when you have uh, all your little whatever it's called, like, like toolbar options, go to 3D. And see so you have this. Now first, one thing you want to do real quick is go to layer, go to layers down here and select your 3D layer. Now let's go back up here. Um, oh crap. All right, so you have 3D scene. Now what you want to first do is front bevel material. That's this right here, the white stuff. And then um, let's change this to a color nice one. Oh crap. Alright, that should be fine. And now, let's just add a gloss to it. 100%. A shine of 71%. And then, alright, that should be good. And then, extrusion material. <coughs> let's add a similar but darker shade. Um, it's, a bit, it's not really the same color. Alright, yeah, that should be good. And then add a gloss and add a shine. Alright, so we have this regular 3D text here. And to make this all look nice, just go to Quality, Ray Trace Final, and then go to Paint On. You can add whatever Paint On, but I think I used to use Shininess, I'm not sure. And then, as you can see, from what you can see, like it'll just trace all over the thing. And you should probably let this go. Let this go for like five minutes or so. And uh, I'll get back to you guys. I'm gonna pause the video real quick. And when it's done, I'll show you guys what's going. All right. So right about here, you can uh, basically just see that it's done. It just looks nice. So what you want to do is you just want to click the screen once or twice, and it'll exit out of this thing. It'll make like an error noise or something. Just click it one more time. And it's done. Now, don't move this around at all, or it'll re, it'll re ray trace it, which is this thing. So, what you want to do is that when you're satisfied with your text, right click your text layer and go to Rasterize 3D. And now it's just a regular, regular layer. You can do whatever you want, put it on, you know, whatever you want. Maybe change the color a bit. I don't care. But as you can see, for Photoshop, it's pretty nice. All right. Well, I'm gonna go make the Cinema 4D text tutorial. That's pretty. That's a lot more advanced than this. So, see you guys there.